Hey guys, it's me, Delta One, here with Airsoft Talk. And I am Mikey. And today we're going to be telling you how to do painting on a Palmer uh, sort of surface for your guns. Uh, this is mainly aimed towards your lower end, you know, Palmer, plastic, handguard, AKs. In this case, we, uh, we had sanded it down. As you can see, it's sanded down because it used to have that fake wood texture. And we're going to go ahead and paint it black, and we're going to do a three coats of black, light coats, and then a, a finish. Yes. So, Mikey's starting on the stock, and basically, it's pretty much simple. And today was actually quite windy, so it was actually quite a challenge. So, as you can see, how Mikey's just kind of doing like a check, and he's not holding down the spray paint. So it's not like all coming out at once. You don't ever want to do that. And basically you want to keep a good five to four inch distance. Um, today I was holding it unusually close because it was just so windy outside. But on normal occasions you would, you'd want to hold about six or seven inches away. But I was just unusually close because it was too windy. Yeah, so he's just going over there with, uh, with a black paint it's a it's a flat black uh, rust-oleum they make really cheap and it's pretty good paint um, for what their price is I like it a lot it, it's pretty good uh, it's a, a tad on the expensive side but it works in it this one's actually meant for painting on stone in like pots and stuff well the paint's not made for stone that's what the finish is for oh, this, one, finish. this stuff is made for painting boats and ATVs and things like that, but it works great for guns. Yeah, so this is the first coat out of three, and the reason you want to do three coats is because paint chips, and with the, the extra coating, it just means it's going the paint's gonna stand a little longer, and it's gonna be a lot harder to get down to the actual bone surface, especially on top of the finish. But uh, this is pretty much just the first coat, and it was actually pretty chilly here in uh, Houston today for us. It was like 50, 60 degrees. It got down to about 48, which is pretty cold for us. Normally it's uh, about 100. So here's the handguard. Um, this is actually one of the most important, the uh, lower front handguard, the pistol grip, and the stock, because that's where you're in contact most with these pieces. So these where you really want to get it done right. As you can see, Mikey's really just taking his time right here and you never ever want to rush it. Rushing your paint job is going to screw you over. It's going to, you're spending usually about 200 to 300 dollars on your gun and then you go to try to paint it and you screw it up and it makes it, you take you rush yourself and you screw it up and it makes you lose that much money just because it's bad. You want to really take your time just don't rush it. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain that but it's usually people just don't understand. I'll tell them to take the time that they go ahead and rush through it and screw up their gun anyway so what I recommend is if you have like an AK or an M4 take off the pistol grip or the front hand guards and paint them first then throw it on your gun and if you think that suits the paint what the gun that color and all that then paint the rest of your gun because you can always buy an extra pistol grip and don't ever paint it with it on the gun unless you're painting the gun completely even even then it depends if you're painting it a solid coat it doesn't matter yeah. if you're painting mul like a multicolored uh, camo job, that's probably something you're going to want to do. But the pistol grip is actually one of the biggest pains because it's since it's angled down, the paint likes to roll, so it's that's really where you're going to have the toughest time. So it looks pretty good. Now we're moving. This is actually kind of an editing error. I forgot to edit this out, but it looks it worked out pretty good in my opinion. So here's the upper hand guard. Uh, at the front of the AK. This one, you don't really, I'm not saying you can slack off on it, but you don't have to worry about it that much because how often is your hand on the top hand guard of your AK? I mean, really. Um, we gave it three coats just like we gave everything else three coats, but um, usually, you really, in all realism, you only have to give it one, but we gave it three just to be safe because it's not. We're going to be selling it, and we don't want that person to be upset with their gun chipping or anything, so. Yeah, and also when you paint it, it also thickens it a little bit, so it all, if your gun doesn't wobble beforehand, make sure you be very careful, you know, how much you put on, and also when you're sanding, be extremely careful on edges, 
because if you file it down, not file it, but save it down too much, it'll create wobble and it'll just create problems. So here the stock is realistically where you want it to be done right and you don't want it to be bumpy. And we were really surprised at this point after the second coat, we were looking at it and we were like, this is actually coming out like exactly what we wanted it to be. We were actually really surprised. Um, we, we were going for the Romanian uh, kind of black looking feature and you can see uh, Mikey just totally got his hand uh, with the spray paint all dirty, dirty Mike. Anyways, so he was, I'm really impressed with what Mikey's painting skills. I've never seen him do it before. But now he has a camera, you can actually see him, and he'll, he'll make more tutorials on his channel in the future. So, uh, overall, I think it's turning out really good. As you can see here, it looks pretty good. I really don't know much more to talk about because it was so windy and so many dogs barking, we decided to do a voiceover today. So, if I haven't said it already, it's just going on that SRC, Custom Contractors RPK. We will be selling it, and if you're interested, let us know. Send us a PM. So again, just going over it with more coats, the, the longer that your painting process takes, more or less, the better it's going to turn out. This took us about 30 to 45 minutes, including between each. We waited about five minutes in between each coat. Which is really nice, considering that's why we really like that. Uh, that's why I like that paint, is because it really doesn't take long at all to dry. And uh, so, yeah. I was actually having a conversation with Mikey right there. Uh, I called him at 6.30 in the morning. I'm never up that early. And uh, I was like, dude, bring your guns over and crap. And he was like, dude, I can't believe you called me. Mikey slept from 6 to 6 because he's all... I had gotten a total <laughs> about six hours of sleep this week until yesterday. I just fell asleep at 6 o'clock and um, I woke up at 6 o'clock this morning. <laughs> so, yeah, so here's the pistol grip and it looks like we're putting on... The clear coat, or no, that's no, that's that's the uh, third coat for the yeah, the third coat. coat. Now you got to be real careful on the pistol grip because the paint will like to, to trip down and it's just overall an annoyance. So you want to be real careful on that one. So that's what we did right there. We just were as careful as possible, and uh, we only had one small minicule of a drip on there and it's not even noticeable so basically when it's all said and done you'll have the the, the coat the finishing coat on it it'll look a tad shiny but I'm sure if you just kinda dust it up a bit with some dirt it'll just look just right which is really what we were going for was not really a used AK but just that that feeling of when you use it it just feels like it's natural and it's kinda been done and used you know just doing it perfect is what we were aiming for and we did a pretty good job we really didn't screw up on anything at all and it fit back on pretty good we, we still we have the finished product we're waiting for it to dry um, even though it may sh look dry uh, when Mikey said it takes five minutes for it to dry that's for you to be able to put on another coat it takes a total of 24 hours to get the complete 100 percent dry results. set paint yeah it takes about 24 hours but yeah, I mean, overall, we are really impressed how well this worked because, for one, we kind of just sanded it in, like, what, five minutes? Well. Yeah, and it was a pretty rough sandpaper, too. The the better, the finer the sandpaper is, the better it's going to come out. So this is just real realistically our first time doing something like this. So here's the clear coat, and this you want to be extremely careful with, and I'll let you, Mike tell you why. Uh, the reason I want to be really careful with this stuff is... Um you can't put too much on there or it'll get sticky. And you may think, oh, it's just going to dry and then it's not going to be sticky anymore. But no, I painted a uh, pistol. Like, it was just a really crappy plastic pistol sprayer to see what it would look like. And it, it's still sticky. Like, I spray painted it about three months ago and it's still sticky. So, um, you just want to be really careful doing this. Just really careful. <laughs> Um, way too much is sticky. Way too much is sticky, and way too little it's going to scratch off, and there's no, there's not even going to really be a point to having it on there. And just too much will be shiny. And pretty much. Too much will be sticky and shiny. But Which is not what we were going for, so this, this is basically pretty much it. This is really basic. It's not hard. Anyone can do it. You know, I encourage anyone to, to learn how to do a new thing, or learn new things, and 
Hopefully this tutorial helps and uh, we'll show you the finished product pretty much in about maybe five or ten seconds. But this has been our voiceover and let us know what you think. So here's the finished product. So here's the finished product. Looks really good. Paint still needs about 24 hours to fully set in with the, the coating. Right, Mikey? So I think it looks pretty good. So final conclusion, it'll look a little bit shiny, but if you just get it in the dirt, it should look fine. It, it has that nice Romanian, Bulgarian kind of Palmer feel to it. Looks really good. But that concludes this week's episode is kind of how to paint, and of course we sanded beforehand. But uh, yeah, next week we chop the barrel.